Okay, this is a technique for um, a PCL injury or a posterior cruciate ligament uh, rupture. Uh, these occur a little bit more often than you think, so they are often um, uh, missed in the diagnosis. So, as we know, the PCL will stop the tibia um, going too far backwards. So if it's ruptured, the actual tibia will move back on the femur. So obviously in this case, the PCL is intact. So from an examination point of view, you can place your thumb on the medial femoral condyle, place your other thumb on the medial tibial plateau and push with your thumb. And the tibia will actually move back like this. Okay, so there will be, it would be quite obvious. The other thing you can do uh, when they first come in is get your pen, place it on the tibial uh, tuberosity here, and there will be an angle here. Now, with a PCL rupture, there won't be this angle because the tibia would have moved backwards so that the actual pen will be like that, actually making continuous contact uh, with the tibia and uh, femoral condyles. So obviously here, no PCL uh, rupture, but if, if, if it was like this, then you, could, uh, you, you would start suspect, suspecting that there uh, was a rupture. The other way you can actually test uh, for the um, PCL is, is just to just let, make sure the leg is held fast, hold onto the femur and just push back on the tibia like that. All right, so you got this method, you got this method, you then got the pen method uh, like that.